What is the most severe case of someone being completely out of touch with reality you've seen? My friend stole my card information and bought loads of expensive stuff. I asked her if it was her before reporting it, knowing that a, she was going through a tough time and I wanted to give her a chance to make it right and b, that I could be in trouble for conspiracy to fraud if I reported it and they believed I'd got stuff delivered to my friend to claim fraud for the money back. She said no, I thought someone else had done it so I reported it. When she got arrested she said she didn't think they'd take the fraud thing so far. She thought you could just call up banks to get the money back and they wouldn't investigate. I have an aunt who's never really worked a day in her life because her husband created his own business early on in life. They live in a mansion and I was over once and we got to talking about fitness, and she told me oh yeah we sent Pamela to this special training gym, it's only $200 a week, you should try it. The fact that to her it was only $200 really kills me. I made 9.95 an hour at the time. She's nice enough but not in touch with reality at all. Had a friend who insisted she was in a relationship with a C-list celebrity whom she met once during a comic convention. All the celebrities' Instagram and Twitter posts were for her and everything had a meaning behind it. When the celebrity got married, she said that it was just for the media so she and celebrity could live a quiet life. When he didn't do anything for her birthday, she had a breakdown. She went to therapy not long after. My cousin was spoiled and sheltered her entire childhood through college. Then her parents stupidly cut the leash without any preparation and released her into society. She quickly got in trouble for bouncing checks all over town. My mom picked her up and asked why the hell she was writing bad checks everywhere. Turns out my cousin was under the impression that as long as you had checks in your checkbook, you had money in your account. She didn't understand that you deposit in a number and then can spend or withdraw up to that amount. I had a neighbor once that was convinced I was flirting with him and wanted to be with him. He got all of this from the one word verbal exchange we would have while getting our mail, which was basically saying hi. Keep in mind that at the time I was a minor in high school and he was probably well into his 20s. He proceeded to harass and stalk me. He messaged me on Facebook declaring his love for me and feeling wrong because I was playing hard to get. He would knock at our house door when he knew my parents weren't home and tried to lure me out so that he could just talk to me. Searched me up on all my social media accounts and tried to contact me, he used my last name from our mailbox and searched for me. It did not help that we lived in the same building. I got so scared that I could no longer go outside for a run like I usually did. I filed a police report and his family asked mine to please forgive his son. This completely freaked me out and my family decided to move. I grew up with a lot of restrictions and at the moment I had no idea the options existed. For example I was only allowed two options of shoes but the catch was that I need to make the right choice. Or that I can make friends on my own, not needing to be told this is your new friend now so go play with them. Sadly my dad kept me in a small box and he was the only one allowed to control what would go into that box or come out. So when I was 10 CPS was involved and I was taken into foster care. That's when my world exploded. I didn't know truly how bad it was until they took me to a shoe store and told me to pick out ones I liked. I swear for the life of me I had no clue what to do. I stood there for what felt was hours until they noticed and asked what my favorite color was. I said green because that was what my father told me I liked. But I guess I was too overwhelmed that I just remember saying yes to everything and ended up with ugly brown and pink sneakers. What children learn to do at their normal age is what I am just figuring it out in my 20s. So reality was a hard thing to live because the whole time I was in my dream world. My old boss at the time was a girl of 26 who got $4 million from her mom a year to play with. Her mom is very wealthy in China. Her daughter is here trying to be a CEO of a company for funsies. I accidentally got a job at that company. One day she told us we were all going on a group outing for bonding. She took us to an outlet mall four hours away. Told the rest of us seven people that she was going to go shop and she'd see us later. That was code for don't follow me. Every two hours she'd let us know she was going to go unload her bags to the giant van they rented and would group text us telling us we can meet her there to unload as well. We all get paid under 50k. We have nothing to unload. By lunch she had proceeded to fill up the van with shit. She then asks me where all my new stuff is and I said I'm budgeting right now. She goes take out a credit card and go shop. That's the American way. By 9pm her bags were taking up people's seats and they had to sit with her stuff. She spent 30k. The rest of us spent about $70. We were tired and bored and cold. 
To this day I still believe she thinks she did something nice for us, and doesn't understand how polarizing and not at all team bonding that was. My sister-in-law, kicked out by her boyfriend, comes to stay with us for a few days. We suggest looking for a flat slash cheap house to rent near us. She won't live in the scummy part of town near us, she'd like a three-bed house with garden in the best part of town. She has no savings and isn't sure if she has a job, was a part-time cashier in a supermarket, stopped going to work. When I suggested maybe she couldn't afford £500,000 on a family home on her salary, she suggested she just get a council house. Disregarding the huge waiting list and the fact that most council properties are either ghetto parts of town. This is just the crust of a deep layer of unhinged fantasy world that she lives in. My sister. Grew up with everything handed to her, and literally cried when her first car wasn't the color she wanted. Married rich. Can't fathom why I can't take off work whenever it suits me, and says stuff like I wouldn't ask my boss for a week off, I would tell him I am taking the week off. I went to a private international school in London as a teenager. Most kids there had parents working good jobs but in between them were some filthy rich kids with parents in the oil industry or something similar. In 8th grade we were talking about our Easter break and my friend from Belgium was talking about how his family had decided last minute to go there over the break, but had decided to drive there because there were no flights available. Then this Russian billionaire classmate of mine asked him why don't you take a private jet? She was so clueless when we started laughing. I work with a girl who is a flat earther and on top of that denied the existence of space. When the topic came up and I disagreed she asked if I had ever been there, obviously I haven't. I told her I have also never been to Japan and that does not mean it doesn't exist. She complained to management about my intolerance of her beliefs. My girlfriend was traveling in China when she was 18 years old and was once randomly approached by a man claiming to be a scientist performing a medical study on feet. He would need to measure the exact dimensions of her feet. For this she obviously had to take off her shoes and socks and he would also need to take some pictures of her feet as well. Years later she tells this story to me and some friends in a bar. At first we start laughing but then realize she isn't joking and still doesn't realize what had happened there. We actually had to spell it out for her. I'm sure she made some Chinese foot fetishists day. My mother, and to several people in my family believe that God marks people. If someone ultimately has a good soul they're white and I'm sure you can guess where it goes from there. If only non-white did shitty things that would make sense but you don't even have to look at much of the world to see that is not the case. When I try to bring up that tons of white people do awful things her logic is their lost souls that will eventually find their way. Meanwhile she'll believe a non-white will never find their way even if they act like they have. The level of delusion this takes is one of the most frightening things to me. I will never forget the man who angrily told me, a wheelchair user with no feet and no prosthetics, to go down the stairs if I didn't want to wait for the elevator, I had been talking to my friend, and mentioned we were going to be a little late because of the huge line. There is a girl at my work that always complains about not making enough because she makes 200 to 300 a paycheck. Then is always the first to leave early and always shows up late and has other people take her shifts. She asked me how I make 600 to 800 a paycheck. I said because I work more. I'm currently at work taking over her shift. She doesn't realize if you don't work more you'll be paid less. I dated this girl who believed her roommates were spying on her. That every time they had friends over and were hanging out in the common space and laughing, it was because they were spying on her in her room. She also believed the government was spying on her and her parents directly. A stating lasted about a week and ended not just because the red flags, but because she tried to drop by unannounced after only being on a couple dates. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.